Yeah. Now, what about airports? Because there's there's a number of projects around the world right now, like here in, in the UK, they want to build another runway down in London, even in Vancouver, they want to build a 4,000 metre runway. And I, I was talking to some of the people that managed the Vancouver airport and I said, well, you know, what's the point in building a runway that's going to be ready in 2030? By the time we get to 2030, I said to them, we will be taking off and landing vertically and flying, flying hypersonic. Yeah. So what's your, your view on the, on the development of airports for the future? How, how do you see that happening? You know what? I agree with you. The whole concept of a long runway, uh, even in a military aspect, they're vulnerable to attack, right? So yeah. it makes sense to take off vertically. But it, again, it goes back to that limiting factor of the sonic boom footprint. They've got to figure out a way to get rid of the sonic boom. Now, NASA is working on their quiet supersonic aircraft yeah. demonstrator. But again, I think it's a patchwork fix. It's not utilizing the technology that Northrop figured out in the 1960s, talking about charge electrical plasmas mm -hmm. that's what they should be working on then you can delete sonic boom footprint altogether so that's the direction they really need to go so it was great more insight there from aerospace engineer and researcher michael schratt who just been telling us about some really interesting things if you want to get in contact with michael or want michael to speak at your conference you can ping him below in the email below here so that's all from fab body here at bizjet tv so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe and comment below and like this video and i'll see you on the next one thank you